Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my tabs versus spaces video. This is a video that quite a few techie people put up on their channel. It's a very well-known holy war in the uh, tech community. Uh, so I'm going to be doing uh, my video about it today. Um, I've been in, I've been making videos for YouTube now for quite a number of years, and I'm quite surprised that I don't already have uh, such a video up here. And we've been talking about this quite a lot on the live stream, and I really kind of wanted to put. Uh, more time into this video, but I felt that this video risked going into uh, a sort of development hell. Sometimes if I put too much time into a video, the uh, expectation of it raises beyond the point of which I can achieve, and therefore it kind of gets shelved for for no good reason other than I can't do it the way that I want to, etc, etc, etc. So what I do to avoid that is I'll release a, a, like a rambly video on the to topic as is, and if required, do any follow-up videos of points I've missed or uh, extended considerations and stuff like that. So um, that's what I'm doing today. This is going to be a bit of a rambly video about my thoughts on the wider debate, and I'm going to consider both sides as best as possible, and I'm going to talk about some of my preferences as well. However, my preferences are quite lukewarm. You know, I'm, I'm willing to... Uh, you know, my, my habits are not set in stone, as it were, so uh, I can be convinced to uh, work, for example, on other projects that use other, uh, that, that, that would use tabs where I would otherwise use spaces and, and vice versa. Um, and in fact, I think it's the general rule is, no matter where you fall in this particular debate, I think the general rule is, if you're working with other people, you have like a set um, style, you have a set procedure, and whether or not that's two spaces or a tab or, you know, four spaces, everyone agrees to stick by it and in my experience it's not too too much of a difficult thing to change especially considering that the overwhelming majority of text editors allow you to convert your tabs into spaces and as you can see here in uh, Pluma and I've got Pluma up uh, which is the default text editor for Marte it's really good I think it's forked from GNOME the GNOME uh, or gedit rather and gedit's also very good so um, as you can see here uh, I've got uh, spaces and I have got uh, tabs. So, um, the top uh, set of code here, which is effectively the most basic website that you can get now. You've got an HTML tag, you've got head tags, body tags, uh, header tags, paragraph tags, and you've got the little title tag in there as well. Um, this is why I actually quite like NeoCities, because with the thing is with NeoCities is you can... Um, like learning how to code basic HTML, it's really not that difficult. It's as simple as that. You know, you can, and, and a lot of it is quite uh, human reader friendly, as it were. So, for example, stuff that goes in between the P tags, that's paragraphs. The stuff that goes between the H1 tags, that's head, you know, that's that's heading one. Uh, body tags, you know, and then the head tags is, is you know, the, well, what goes in between the head tags is typically stuff that isn't seen um, on screen. So it's usually context elements, metadata, and the stuff in between the body tags is, um, you know, it's more visual data, and and that makes sense. It's you know, HTML is a very logical protocol, um, uh, which is uh, to to understand. So, uh, anyway, uh, enough of that uh, rambling aside. Um, what you can see here is at the beginning, at the top, you've got um, the indentation of code being two spaces, and you've got at the bottom here, you've got the indentation of code being one tab. However, that tab width is set to eight characters wide. And a lot of people will say, a lot of tab advocates will say, that when you're, you're coding with tabs, um, you can actually adjust the tab width so that, well, maybe you might con might consider uh, tabs or, or a, a tab width of eight characters to be too much. I mean, if, if you look at the top one, at least to me, the top set of text looks a little more flowing, it looks a little more logical, it looks a little bit more practical. Like, for example, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's only a couple of spaces in as well. Um, and, I mean, a lot of people will say that... Um, when you're using tabs for indentation, you're actually getting rid of a lot of keystrokes. Well, um, that's not necessarily the case because, of course, you can press the control button and then your arrow keys, and that will jump your your cursor around quite quickly. But so we've talked about the concept of tabs versus spaces on the gaming live streams a few times, and uh, the majority of you guys seem to prefer tabs. 
although a lot of you do uh, use spaces, but you use tabs to convert uh, into spaces. So you, you convert the tabs into spaces. So instead of pressing tab and then you get one solid indentation, it actually is, uh, is just eight spaces or four spaces or two spaces, depending on... Um, on how you set it to, uh, and um, and there was a lot of uh, diversity among the number of characters you thought a, a, a tab's width should be. Now, I don't necessarily feel that tabs are actually really designed for for indentation, but rather closer to like tabular data. So if you wanted to, you know, like, um, uh, you know, if, well, if you wanted to put something in, in like a very basic kind of table, uh, I, I think t tabs would, would, I wouldn't necessarily say work there, because I don't think that tabs are implemented particularly well in plain text anyway. And I've, the, the fact that um, different uh, editors treat them differently doesn't strike me as being a, a broadly consistent practice anyway, and something that I'm not, um, you know, I appreciate that there is this degree of customizability uh, with setting the tab width, but then, um, you know, if, if tabs are used for for tabular data for for like you know columns uh, any information that's that's uh you know that, that you'd want to display in a column and, and you'd use tabs for um you would then have to completely reset how the the, the or change how the document looks which again a document should look uh, when opened um, as intended by the by the author in a lot of cases it, it seems to me it seems logical to me so i think that the idea of using tabs just uh I don't know. Like, I don't necessarily have anything against them, but in a lot of cases, um, just using, you know, just converting tabs into spaces, uh, I think gives me, um, gives you know, gives me what I need, which is a consistent, um, you know, a consistent indentation. Uh, it doesn't take up too much horizontal width of the space because if you work in something like HTML, you'll notice that you will get, uh, you know, like tags nested in tags, nested in tags, nested in tags, which can be, you know, like six plus tags deep and um when you've got uh, eight character wide tabs um you're gonna have a lot of stuff that, that sort of runs off the side of the page if you have anything that's too heavy you know that's nested too deep so having a having a small uh indentation um yeah i think it makes it more practical but then again this may differ with different languages i don't know very many uh programming languages most of my experience comes from uh playing around with my near cities website as of late well uh, my experience <laughs> comes comes quite largely before then but i mean my uh, my recent um habits have, have been formed by near cities and uh and, and and that's what's uh, and that actually Neo Cities defaults to a tab being two spaces uh, for their indentation there, and they also use visual aids. In fact, the code editor in NeoCities.org is actually really quite nice as far as web code editors go. It's not necessarily as full featured as something like Atom, but it's um, it does the job. So. Um, yeah, like I say, I think generally the golden rule is uh, when you're working on a software project, you will agree on a style and stick to it. And I think everyone can uh, can agree that that's, that's the best practice. But when it comes to just working on your own, I think everyone pretty much agrees now that this debate has been going on long enough that we just accept that we work with what we feel comfortable with. So um, it's not necessarily the most aggressive of holy wars that the IT world sees. But uh, when it comes to how uh, the code visually puts you know code visually gets put together for me uh just two spaces um though I, I mean i use the tab key my my instinct is to use the tab key but it just converts over to two spaces but you know in 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 the greater scheme of things i'd be just as happy having a tab you know using tabs really um it's it makes completely no difference to me whatsoever my habits aren't formed deep enough um my Neo Cities websites do use two spaces deep. If you see the code behind them change, you'll know that my preferences have changed. So that's quite interesting. Um, but all in all, uh, yeah, um, I guess I'm a spaces guy, which is quite interesting because uh, a lot of people, most people who I meet who do code in sort of the day-to-day -day conversation on the gaming live stream do tend to go for, for tabs. So um, 
but it makes a lot of sense. There's, there's, there is something going for tabs. But like I say, it doesn't seem to me that tabs are really designed for it. It seems that they're more designed for you know column data and and and, and tabular data and, and and I suppose that's what the tab might even be be shortened to as well. Uh, if you look at like old school paragraphs on print, where the paragraph is uh, just one line below with an indentation rather than just a you know a space. Um, like a tab wouldn't replace that that sort of indentation. You would you you would assign that to a function of the word processor, for example. Um, so, um, so yeah, um, two spaces, but not particularly set on it. That's my tabs versus spaces video. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, that's about it from me today, um, but don't forget to check out the live streams from time to time. I know uh, many of you guys aren't going to be uh, big fans of video games, but we generally talk about all kinds of stuff. The video game there is just sort of a common distraction, as it were, and sometimes I play something very nostalgic or old. I don't play too many new games on this old machine, but um, yeah, some of you guys should, should pop by. And uh, once or twice a week I stream on a Project Chronicle channel, which is a channel that me and some friends do. Uh, just a bit of fun, more gaming stuff. So if you are a fan of the gaming live streams and want some more gaming live streams a couple of times a week I will put a link to the Project Chronicle channel down in the description below um, and we usually do multiplayer across on that channel most of the time. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know your preferences down in the comments section below and uh, you know sort of talk you know talk about why why um, why you decide to use what you do because this is something that I I would really like to hear lots of different opinions on because I'm very susceptible to change on this one. So, um, if yeah, admittedly, like there is very little general compulsion to change someone's someone else's mind on this issue because it's a personal comfort kind of issue. But like you know, uh, advocate for, for your your guys' styles and see, um, you know, and 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 see what uh, what reasoning there is behind it. So anyway, that's about it for me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.